it feels so good to kind of um, see the culmination of three months of work, you know, happen. And I think this was one of their best runs. And I think we all felt it. It's something unspoken that like, I was watching it from the audience and I just felt like, wow, everyone like found their groove. Everyone is doing what they needed to do and everything is just right. Orange is about a young girl with autism and her struggles and adventures through Orange County as she takes in the world around her through the eyes of an autistic person and her interactions with other people, including her family, who isn't fully accepting of her, and her cousin and friends as they take her on many adventures. So uh, I'm actually an officer of Cadre Kerr and I am the lead technician. So um, I supervise all of the different technical crews. And this, for this show specifically, I was the assistant director. So it was my job to coordinate with the director to help um, put the show like to Together and we also coordinated with our dramaturgy team to make sure that it was culturally accurate. So I, since I was part of Ensemble, so we fill in all the gaps. All those gaps that you see, all the... I wouldn't want to call them extra characters because we're all... I, I'd like to think we're all important uh, as part of the whole picture of things. But, uh... Well, I, I played three characters. Firstly, just a rando in an, in an airport, just trying to find a taxi. And then uh, just so happened the taxi trying to get one fails. And then um, the main characters, they steal it away from me and my friend. <laughs> Second, I am a um, I am one of the dads, Pretty's and the bride's dad. So I just go around. I'm like just the happy father, I guess, with a belly. I busted a few moves here and there. And thirdly, uh, a pilot. My character's name is Gar, that's just G-A-R. First off, he's the boyfriend of her character. And so I'd say that, uh, comparatively, Gar's a little bit more serious. A little more, uh, how do I say it? Like, a little bit less of like a risk taker. He's more cautious, definitely. My character was named Preeti, which is P-R-I-T-I. And um, she comes from a very, like, Lots of standards being put on her from her parents and like expectations and she's kind of just trying to break free from that and becoming her own person and the way she does that is being very impulsive and she's very rebellious like tries to get away from her parents sneak out i have a shout out to Rhea. i think you interviewed her already but she put in so much research and dedication into her role as long as um she also choreographed the dance scene in the beginning at scene four she did amazing and she's like Mr. Cross described it, she's very humble and doesn't doesn't really like brag about that, show that off. And just she portrayed her character so well and I'm so glad she inspired so many people. That's the only way I can see Leela being played is by Rhea. Like and then yeah, choreographing the whole dance scene on top of playing like the lead role, just it's insane what she's done. And and, and you really wouldn't know unless you've been told it. Because she doesn't brag about it, she doesn't go around. Um she's like showing it, she doesn't go around like boasting about it at all. So it's just crazy huge shout out to Rhea I think you know I mean honestly I think my favorite part really is watching where the kids began to where they are now hearing parent parents say things like I've never seen my kid do anything like that never thought that that was even possible um, that was one of the comments we got tonight and one of our leads and it was like I, you, I get to see how amazing they are and you see like there's some kids that were featured tonight that really felt a year ago like they didn't have a voice and they didn't have a place to be and they didn't know where they were going to be tomorrow and today they had their home today they 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 felt a group of people who truly loved and cared for them